Hello, and welcome to the Introduction to Teaching Online. My name is Laura Otero, and I'm your instructor for this course. Um, so I've been working in the field of online education since 2010, um, and I actually began as a student recruiter for nonprofit colleges' online bachelor degree programs. Um, I then transitioned into a student support role, um, which eventually led me into online course development and learning management system administration and faculty training. So I've now been serving Hartnell for the past five years as the Canvas administrator and as a staff and faculty trainer. Um, so teaching online isn't always uh, easy to do, but I find it really rewarding and I hope that you will as well. So let's dive in. Um, the Introduction to Teaching Online is a fully online self-paced course, which means you can take as much time as you need to work through the material. Um, you can expect grades and feedback on any of your submissions within one to two weeks, and quizzes are all graded instantly. You can always reach out to me by email or phone, and my contact information is posted in the Read More About Your Instructor link, which is right below this video. So by the time you finish this course, you should be able to design, build, and effectively teach your own online course according to the established best practices and standards that we're going to cover. So let's take a look at how this course works. To get started, click on Modules in the left navigation menu like this. Let's begin with the syllabus. See how it says Start Here? As you go through all of the content, you'll be able to click Next, which is towards the bottom right of each page. This allows you to proceed to the next item, which is your first lesson. You'll see the goals towards the top of each lesson page, and you'll have text, photos, and videos as a required part of each lesson. Related reading links are optional and available at the bottom of the lesson pages. After going through the lessons in each of the modules, you'll take quizzes to test your knowledge. In addition to the quizzes, you'll also need to complete practice assignments where you can demonstrate your learning. You can complete your practice assignments in any of your live courses, or if you prefer, you can create a practice course by going to your Canvas dashboard and clicking the Start a New Course icon. It looks like this. Ideally, you'll be able to create practice content that you can actually use in your next online course. Okay, so now that you're hopefully a bit more oriented to this course, let's go back into it. Read through the rest of the page that you're currently viewing, then go ahead and get started by clicking on Modules.